Okay, so we can begin by going to uh, Google Drive and opening up a. Um, we can open up an app. If you go to the apps in your Google Drive. You should see something that says Sites, Google Sites, S-I-T-E-S. -E yeah. So do you see Sites, S-I-T-E-S? Okay. All right. If I go too fast, please let me know. I'm going to try to go as slow as possible since this is you guys are all novices at doing this. Uh, are we good so far? Okay. The first thing we want to do is click on create. So that that green that orangey button there. Um, give the name of your website right in this box here. This is where you're all going to have to agree what you want as your title. You want to make it something interesting. You want to make it something appealing. Don't just call it the eighth circle. Something that's gonna that's gonna be catchy. You don't have to have a title that's etched in stone right now. I mean, you can change this eventually. So give it a title. If you guys agree on as a group right now, what do you want it to be? Go ahead and type that in. Okay, so mine is going to be called Space, the New Wild West. I gave it a title. Uh, that's all we're going to do with this. So once we have a title, let's click on Create. And like I said, we can go back in here and fix this later on. Now, if you have what I have over here, congratulations. You are now visible to the whole world. Everybody can now see your website, your exciting website. It's sort of like uh, we are manufacturing a car. Uh, we haven't started yet putting together the vehicle yet. Uh, it is out there. This is, this is for everybody to see around the world. What we're going to need to do first is change the share settings so that it's just going to be you, the owner, and other people in your group that can see this and edit it. So click on the share button, the blue share button, and you'll notice it'll say Lacey Township School District. Anyone at Lacey Township School District can find and edit. We'd like to change that. So click change and select the last option there, off specific people shared with specific people and then click save what you're going to notice about this too slow, too fast what you're going to notice about this is that every time you add something to your website you're going to have to click save unlike other google uh, apps you have to you don't click save like slides or or documents um, it saves it automatically it does not do that for, for this so you have to click save every once in a while all right, so now we want to invite people. So in that box, put everybody in your group and make sure it says can edit. It's already defaulted there. Then you can click send. All right, so each person now can go into Google, Google Sites and see that they have access to the website. They can edit it. Okay, so why is this, did they type in here? Yeah. Create site.
Circle eight. Right? Okay, this location is already used by another site. P pick a new one. So somebody's already named it, so it's not creative enough. So put something creative. Yes. Put something creative like that no one else will have. See, someone else has that. So just. Okay, so once you've set the save, um, once you've shared it with the people in your group, click, you can click on the title of your website. And now you're back to your home page. Okay. Everybody, yep, yeah, do the share option. Yes. Yeah, you can go into slides and, it, and it, you should go into sites. And it should be in sites. You should see access to it there. Uh, so now our next step, after sharing it with everybody in the group, our next step is to now make our pages. Again, this is going to be done by the owner. But once the pages are there, the rest of the group can collaborate, can get into the website and, and make changes that they need to. So just our owners, but if you're not an owner, you might want to watch this in case the owner suddenly disappears or or backs out of the group or whatever. We need you, you should know how to use this. That's primarily for the reason for this recording as well. So you can revisit this recording and listen to my magnificent voice. Um, let's make our pages now. At the top right, it'll say create page at the icon with that plus sign. Go ahead and give that a click. Top, all the way top right, there's a plus sign. Not, no, not all of you, just the owner. But you might want to just see what's going on. Um, okay, so these are all the people that have that have the right to do it. Okay, then we click on that, and then we're going to click the plus sign. To make the pages okay so the first page and we're going to do this and it doesn't matter but we're going to just type in each one of these pages here so one at a time so my first page is going to be summary i type in summary and then create it's that easy don't do anything else just type in summary create then you'll have to click save to save it Okay, let's do the next page. Click on the Create Page icon again. And the next page is going to be called Analysis. And then click Create. Click Save. And then repeat the process for the other pages. Create page. The next page is going to be called Opinion. Everybody good with this so far? My my point people. We good? Yes? No? All right, nobody's complaining, so I'm going to assume yes, we're good. Okay. Remember to keep clicking that save button. Okay. 